I look like Santa. Yay! <laughs> One week today, till the fat man comes in your house and empties his sack everywhere. That sounds really wrong. Yeah. Oops. You know what I mean. One week to Christmas. You're still having a workout to do on Christmas Day. I'm still leaving you a workout to do. I'm not going to do it live. I've decided it's not live. But there will be a specific Christmas 2020 workout for you. Yay. Look, twins. <laughs> How are we all feeling? That, just, see, that, that actually looks about right there, doesn't it? Looks perfect for that mug. Oh. Friday morning. Kettlebell hit. So we're going to do this session. Last week we did it as two different blocks. Each one had six exercises, took about 24 minutes, 25 minutes. Morning, Julie. This week we're going to do eight exercises. Eight. Eight. But we're going to do it as an accumulator. So we're just going to keep building and keep adding little bits onto it. All exercises we've done in the past. All stuff we're used to. Morning, these. So, we have weights to do, kettlebell exercise to do. Before we get into that though, you know the score. Mobility is not cardio based. This is day one of three in a row for, for weights, for conditioning. We got today, then all weekend, both days, whole body weights. Let's go one arm up, one arm down. So you're gonna push you for three days. Then next week, easing in towards Christmas slightly. More cardio, less weights, so you're not gonna be aching when you're trying to eat your turkey or your nut roast or whatever you've got. Let's take it side to side. Loosen the chest. Good morning, Teresa. She's made it live to a Cannabella Pass. Oh, and thank you for your donation yesterday. Really, really appreciate that. Thank you, darling. All right, let's take your hands back behind your head. Little bend in the knee, tip forwards. Boosh. Get that little bit of a tip forwards. Tip from the hip, lean it in. Let's go. Give me two more. And then let's take it into a squat. Sit down, bring it back up. Low as you're happy and comfortable to go. It's just for movement, it's just mobility at this point. Which I really need to work on for my right hip. If I start, if I start stopping, meh. If I stop partway through and look like I'm holding myself awkwardly or weird, it's pro probably am. Two more. My sciatica, it kicks up occasionally through my right side. If I didn't have about three weeks, it just won't go away this time. I can't break it. Let's stand on one leg. Swing your foot back and forth. My stupid cat is in stupid mode again. Like she did on Wednesday when she had tinker time. <laughs> She's doing it again. Doesn't like rain, I'm sure. Let's change legs, other side, swing it through. Did anyone do the, the pink belt kickboxing taster on Wednesday? Anyone try it? What do you think of it? Who wants to learn to do more of that? And get an actual pink belt and get certified and registered as a kickboxer in the UK. I'll post more details about it later. All right, just stand it there, shake it loose. Shake your arms out. So we're gonna go 30 seconds work, 10 seconds rest. Accumulator style, gradually building stuff up. This is 23 minutes straight through. Short shot burst, quick workout, get it done, ready for a Friday. And then let the weekend commence. And you can always tell people you've been training with Santa this morning. Right, two-handed, two-handed swings. 
to begin, let's go. If you have the money, that's fine. I know it is a lot. If you look at the website, it's 900 pounds for the course. I'm doing it for 600 pounds, but we can arrange payment plans for you, for anybody who's listening. To suit your needs. Come on, keep swinging, little bend in the knee, two, one. All right, pick your weight up, your next one. Handle against your chest, hands under the weight itself. Goblet squat, just sit down, back up. Let's go. So head up, chest lifted. Sit down into that squat. Twelve seconds, come on. To push your hips back and down. Sit low, get your legs working. Oops. Two, one. Woo. So we'll do it again, two-handed swing. Ready? Bend the knee. Tip from the hip. Go, come on. We're only swinging it up. Chest, shoulder, head height at most. Not going all the way through like we were last week. And make sure you're doing it as a tip from the hip, not a squat. So you lean your forwards and back. Drive your glutes forwards. Use your bum to make that weight lift up. Two, one. Go back to that goblet squat. Two, one. Squat down. Let's go. Boom. Ay, ay, ay. Come on, get into it. Ten seconds. Two, one. Rest here. Next one is squat again. This time, squat and press. Give it a shoulder press at the top. Let's go. Sit low. Push up. And the faster you come out of that squat, the more power there is. Moving that weight up already. Less for your arms to do. Your legs help to lift it. Two. One. Woo. Back to the start. Two-handed swing. Little bend in the knee. Come on, keep moving. Still that swing, that tilt. Nearly there. Woo. Goblet squat, weight by your chest. Still sit low as you can. Head up, chest lifted. Try not to lean forwards as you squat. Try and just sit down and back up. Two, one. Squat and press. Two, one, let's go. Squat down, push it up. Twelve seconds. Come on, keep going. 
three, two, one. Okay, this time we add on alternating single arm swings. Change hand at the top. Little bend in the knee, let's go. You don't need to let go of the kettlebell at the top. You can just put your hand on it. But let's be fair, doing this at home, letting go of it, just makes it a little bit cooler. And then you know at least, you're not lifting the weight, it is moving on its own. Literally. All right, from one-handed swings, back to two-handed. Two, one, let's go. Huh? Oh, the cat's been an idiot. Come on. Ten seconds. How are we all feeling? Anyone else starting to get warm yet? Goblet squat. Feet shoulder width, or just a little bit wider. Sit down low. When you come up, don't get all the way to the top on this set. Keep that bend in the knee slightly. Keeping things loaded, keeping things working. Come on. Yes, it's a lot of legs to start this session off. But tough. Okay, squat and press. Go. Come on, drive it up nice and high. seconds to go. Come on. Two. One. So now we're back to alternating single arm swing. Your other hand stays off your legs. Come on, let's go. Keep moving, come on. Two, one. So now we're gonna turn the watch around if you've got one, just so you don't damage it. Alternating snatch, we'll go from a squat. Straight up, bring it down, change hands. Other side. Let's go. So we'll do it as a squat drive. But it's not a shoulder press. You don't bring it up to your shoulder and then push. It goes from the floor straight up. Change to the bottom. Go again. Keep your hand closed when that weight is above you. Temptation to have your hand open. Don't do that. It will fall out. Back to the start. Two hand swings. Go! Little bend in the knee. How are you feeling? You okay? 10 seconds. Two. One. Squats next. Goblin squat. Let's go. Sit down. Bring it up. Go 
Go on a little bit lower. If you need to take your feet wider so you can squat lower, that's fine. We can use the inside of the thigh then as you come up. Five, four, three. Squat and shoulder press. Down, push, let's go. So get low, press high. Alternating swings. You lot are really quiet today. What's going on? Come on then. And don't tell me it's just because you're trying to breathe. When's that ever stopped you? So alternating swings. Change hands at the top. Ten seconds. Two, one, snatch, alternate your snatch off a squat, all the way up. <coughs> Let's do it. So drive straight up, weight up above you, the weight stops above you. as you come up, catch it on the back of your forearm, control it into place, so you don't bruise like a peach. Five, four, three. Nice easy one next. Bent over row, hold the sides of the handle, lean it forwards, pull it up, pull it into your waist. Knees bent, hips push back. This is exercise number six. So we've got two rounds to go. Which is nice. Six, five, four. Bend your knees, stand it up. Okay. Back to the start, two-handed swings. Go! Into it, push back up. Twelve seconds. Come on, we need it. Twelve seconds to get out of breath. Or we'll be happy. I don't know, whichever you want. Squat and press. Well, it's a good beat to work to here. Down. Up. Hit that rhythm. Come on. Alternating swings. 
That's where we go next. 30 seconds. Three, two, one. Come on in. Let's go. Still knees bent. Push your bum back. About you now. I feel my core starting to kick in. It's starting to work now. Everything's starting to get tired. It's good. That's the idea. How are you doing? Two, one. Alternating snatch. Two, one, go. Keep that other hand away from your leg, keep it out of the way. on the kettlebell, knees bent, lean forward, pull it in, chest lifted, so we're using your upper back here to pull that weight in towards your waist, a little bit of bicep involved, 10 seconds, next exercise is windmill, with the weight in your left hand. So weight in your left hand, take it above you. Turn your right foot out to the side. We're gonna lean over, and then back up. As far as you're comfortable, you're trying to get your right hand to your right foot. Ow. Unless you've got some to go, and then this hurts. <laughs> Woo! As so you go to your range of movement, that weight above you, keep your hand closed. Keep looking up at that weight. Yeah, very short range movement for me. But that's okay. It's better than nothing, right? One last round. Five minutes to the end. Two handed swings. Go. Come on, do what you can. As you saw with the last exercise, I had to get a shorter range of movement, but I kept moving, doing something. Obviously, if it's really painful, if you've got any real discomfort or issues, you are allowed to stop. You know your range of movement. Goblet squats. For God's sake, don't just keep going through something because it hurts, or when it hurts, because I said so. You know, that difference between good pain and bad pain. Good pain. My muscles are burning, they're working. Good, keep going. My muscles feel like they're about to snap. All right, stop. Come on. Two, one. Breathe, squat and press next. Shoulder press. Do it. So sit low, power up from the bottom of that movement. Ten seconds. Two. One. You okay? Alternating swings. Little bend in the knee. Change hands at the top. Keep 
Keep breathing. Don't hold your breath. Come on. Breathe. All right, snatch. Off the floor. Straight up. Two. One, go. So push hard. Push the floor away with your feet. Get up fast. Still from a squat. So you're not leaning forward a lot. Head up. Chest lifted. Two. One. Bend over row. Knees bent. Lean forward. Hold it in. Let's go. How are you all doing out there? In other side of the camera land. Come on, it's time to get a little bit warm now. Nearly done. Two. One. Okay, windmill. Weight in your right hand. Beard above you. Turn your left foot out to the side. Slide down. Left to the top. See, there's the difference in what I can do movement wise. On the other side, I got to about here. And just past my knee. This way. I can lean over and I can move. I'm okay. Still look up at that weight that's above you. Know where it is. Keep your hand closed around the handle. Three, two, one. One last one to finish it all off. This one's fun. Grab the weight. Hold it out. Arms length. Stay there. Just stay here. Keep your abs in tight. Try not to let your elbows flare to the side. Keep them under slightly. If it starts hurting your lower back, split your stance one foot forward. Hold it up, hold it up. 10 seconds. Nearly there. That'll do. Bend your knees, put the weight down. We are done. How are you feeling? We okay? Anybody there? Hello, is there anybody there? Julie, Lisa, Teresa. Can I look out with the pictures on in the corner then? Oh, there's one. Glad you enjoyed it. You're welcome. Okay. Just swing your arms through. Let's go from one arm up, one arm down, straight to that one. Just to ease things off. Shoulders, core, arms. Just nice and steady. Just drive your arms back. Let it stretch out. And then just shake them loose. Shake everything out. And then all I want from here, feet nice and wide, squat down. Grab your feet, just get your hips low as you can so we can stretch lower back, stretch the hip. And then keep holding your feet, straighten your legs so you get that stretch off the back of the leg, off your back, off your glutes, and then bend your knee down your can. If I do it side on, we go from channeling your inner frog to stand up. Straighten your legs. And then back down. Let's do one more. Up we go. 
push it up, straighten the legs out, get that stretch off the hamstring, off the lower back, and then bend your knees, and then stand it up. <sighs> Glad you enjoyed it, Teresa. Glad you're sweating. That's kind of the idea. All right, let's stand on one leg. Bring the other leg forwards and back. Oof. Gently rock it through so we can take the stress out of the hip. I can't take myself seriously with a Santa t-shirt on. <laughs> Pull your knee up high. Still a little bend in the knee for the leg you're still on. And then bring it down. Take that foot up and back. Knees together. Stretch through the front of the leg here. And change. Let's stand on that leg. Swing the other one back and forth. And then hold that knee up. Yeah, that's the one I can feel. That's working. That's stretching. A bit tight. If I've got tension in my glutes because of my sciatica, does that make me a tight ass? Answers on a postcard to somebody else. Bring it down, take that foot up and back. Knees together, little bend in the knee for the leg you're still on. Pull that foot back, get that stretch. So that's today's conditioning session done. Saturday, Sunday, both half hour, whole body weights. Quick blast again through each bit. Bring it down, shake your legs loose. And give yourself a round of applause. Make sure you eat and drink to refuel, guys. You take care. I'll see you in the morning. 10 o'clock tomorrow. Whole body weight. Tell a friend. Tell an enemy. Tell an enemy. Tell them it'll be great. Bring them along. Time to enjoy it. Tell me who they are and I'll pick on them. I mean, I'll make them work. I'll individually motivate them. See, <laughs> see you tomorrow morning, guys. Bye-bye.